right, so uh, Forestside Health Management. So basically the overview that I'm gonna go through is the nursery, barn setup, puberty, isolation, biosecurity, spermatogenesis, um, ejaculation, production, uh, factors that affect spermatogenesis, stress, vaccines, nutrition, and handling semen, and then like why all this is important. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, so it could all start at the nursery, like uh, how your Borstead is uh, successful. So there has been little research shown that introducing socialization skills at a young age will increase sperm and ejaculate, as well as um, the behavior of the boars. So when you go to the barn, the barn setup is uh, structured to be safe for the employees, and then the socialization introduced in the nursery will increase the boar behavior, allowing it to be safer for the employees as well. Um, the set of the boar, it's set up the aisles are set up so that the board cannot turn around. And then climate control is very important within a board shed because once it reaches uh, 22 degrees Celsius, which is 71 degrees Fahrenheit, uh, heat stress becomes a problem. Um, with that, we don't really know any cold temperatures that will decrease in quality uh, currently, but right now a lot of farms are going to have AC units put in, or they already have AC units put in, so that uh, heat stress is not a factor. Um, puberty can be defined in multiple ways. Um, so in boars, the behavior signs um, around puberty is about four to six months. This includes mounting, chomping, and libido. And then, uh, but the boars start to produce sperm at six to seven months of age. This is when uh, mature sperm cells start to show, and these are the cells that are able to uh, successfully breed. And then, after the nursery, they go into the isolation, and boars are in isolation for about four to eight weeks, depending on your farm's protocol. They're moved into a boar stead about seven to nine months of age. Um, they are vaccinated and tested for diseases while in isolation. Um, the boar stead itself usually does not uh, vaccinate like sow farms do. So since a lot of uh, they're isolated from other farms and they don't introduce new pigs and diseases to the farm, they don't. Uh, vaccinate routinely. So most of the vaccines that a boar will ever get uh, will not be in the boar so they'd be during isolation. And so this is why biosecurity is uh, very important. So you wanna make sure that you shower in and shower out and then have a withdrawal period from swine. Uh, usually this is 48 hours, um, but because, uh, depending on your farm, it could be longer. Um, spermatogenesis is the production of sperm, uh, mature sperm cells. So it's the time from the sperm being produced in the testicle to being stored in the epididymis. So in boars, this is uh, in boars, the time that takes for it to be produced in the testicle and travel into the epididymis to be stored is 51 days. So a boar ejaculates about 16% of its stored uh, pool, and this is stored in the uh, cauda epididymis. So when they ejaculate, it can range between 150 to 300 uh, milliliters in uh, volume. And it can make 20 to 50 doses, uh, which depends on motility, morphology, volume, and concentration. So production, uh, you wanna make sure that you have a rest period for at least five to seven days between each collection. This is important because they, uh, it takes 51 days for them to produce uh, semen. So uh, the sperm cells. So when they ejaculate, they ejaculate 60% in their storm, uh, their uh, storage. Uh, so basically, if you collect less than five days, you will empty out their tank, and it'll take longer for them to produce enough to have a regular ejaculate. So when you collect less than five days, uh, it will cause stress to the boar as well as a de uh, decrease in semen quality and quantity. Uh, collecting at random times with over weeks of not being collected. So if you do like 10 days and then like 20 days and then like it's just random, it will decrease semen quality by having uh, agglutination, which is the clumping of uh, sperm cells, as well as other abnormalities. So factors that affect spermatogenesis is heat stress, movement of pigs, illnesses and diseases, bad water uh, or feed quality, as well as nutritional factors not being met. Uh, stress. Stress is one of the biggest impacts on semen quality. Um, there's 
a moderate stress and you will see semen quality be bad in about four weeks after that stress has uh, was introduced um, because it did not affect the mature cells in the cotta epididymis this is why you don't see it immediately it only affects what is in the test pool being produced the ones that aren't mature yet and then you have severe stress which affects sperm cells in the test pool as well as in the storage tank so as mentioned early, earlier, we don't vaccinate, like a lot of boys that don't vaccinate, but some do. So when you vaccinate, you want to have uh, only 25% of your barn vaccinated at a time because it can uh, spike a fever and fever will uh, cause stress to the board and will uh, cause semen quality to be bad. And so you don't want your whole barn to have bad semen quality. So that's why you want to do about one fourth of the barn. Um, it is important to have healthy disease-free boars, though. So even though you don't vaccinate uh, like you do at other farms, you want to make sure that your uh, boars are uh, disease-free because they can pass on diseases to sow farms through their semen. Um, one disease here recently that has been passed, like, in the swine industry was PERS, and that can be passed on from their semen to sow farms. And so nutrition, you wanna make sure that the boars get a boar specific diet. Um, usually nutrition is not as important, uh, unless the management is poor, because if you feed a boar specific diet, then they should be fine. Um, but if your management is poor, then nutrition could have issues with vaccine quality. So when under stress, you can introduce vitamins, micronutrients, and macronutrients to help with that. And then there's also water quality. Um, it's not really thought about, but it's definitely very important. So uh, handling semen, you want to ensure that you send out good semen. So um, after hand, like after collecting it, and once it leaves the uh, barn into the lab, you want to make sure that it gets extended um, correctly. So you want to make sure that the extender is the same uh, degrees as the semen. Um, because if you, uh, which is usually 37 degrees Celsius. So if you um, have it too cold or too hot, it can shock the semen, uh, the sperm cells, causing um, them to curl, like have bent tails or coral tails, which will have them swim in circles where they won't be able to fertilize the egg. And so once they reach the, um, once they're packaged, you wanna keep them cool. And then once the sow farm gets them, they need to put them in the fridge and have that about 17 degrees Celsius and then until they use it. And semen shelf life currently is five to seven days according to the extender that is used. And then the importance of the small things, there are many factors that affect sperm uh, production and semen quality as well as the health and safety of the boars and workers at the farm. So setting up the barn to enhance easy movement and reduce stress for the boars will have great impact on production. Any questions? Wow, I was just going to give her the minute signal. Well, that's great. Yeah. Because you, when you first had that list, I thought, we'll be here till tomorrow. No. That's what I thought. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> so, yeah, that's a great topic. Do they do they warm up the semen before they put in the sow? Uh, no. A lot of the sow farms just take it out and it kind of... Put it right in the sow. Yeah. Okay. It's amazing how you can't reliably freeze boar semen. Yeah but you can do bowl semen and it can be good for 30 years in liquid nitrogen. Isn't yeah, that amazing? Yeah, the crawling process of frozen semen decreases fertility greatly. In the, in the bowl, in yeah. Bars. They used to freeze it in little pellets. Yeah, they still freeze do it. Do they still? Just, yeah, it's just poor. Instead of 70%, you get about like less than 40% right. fertility. It's never as good as that fresh. So they ship it by, right? You can mm -hmm. do UPS or something. Yeah. Shipped in a little, uh, some container that's refrigerated, I yeah, guess, or nice, I don't know. Kind of, yeah. Yeah. Questions, comments? Uh, you know, that's really good about the comment about vaccinating because a lot of times you get a reaction to the vaccine. And